Hello and welcome to another Jody Giant Veg. I must apologise for my lack of videos lately. I've been so busy, it's been unbelievable. Um, I'm going to start focusing on other things uh, and bringing more videos out. I'm going to be doing different trials and stuff like that. I'm going to start aiming a bit more on the hydroponic side. If I can, uh, and try and show you some bits and bobs that I'll be doing. There's nothing much going on really. Uh, it's the quiet time. Everything's coming to a close. I need to sort my allotment out. I've got loads of crap down there. I need to sort out, stuff like that. Uh, I've got a couple of leaks in the, the Wilma system, which need taken out. They're pretty much dead now. They've come to the end of the life. Uh, as you can see, they're, they're kaput. Bit dead now. Um, sorry if I sound a bit bunged up. I'm just not very well at the moment. Uh, there's I've got chilies in this tent here underneath this uh, light. And they're ready for harvesting. They're ready to come off. All that needs to come out, be tidied up and get done, done away with, which will be getting done today. Um, I've got some onions I started about six, maybe eight weeks ago in this tent. Giant onions. I've just started those extra, extra early just as a... Just as a, a way to see if people are actually starting them earlier than they say they do because I believe some people are growing the onions till the practically die um, and I don't believe that they start them when they do so I've started some extra early to see what the crack is with them I've got a little chilli plant in there which is ready to be come out now I'm going to uh, take this out here I'm going to put an LED bulb in there uh, I've got a specialist LED bulb I'll show you in a minute when it's done these are all going to be getting potted up into one litre pots over here I have got my Canna Terra Professional, it's basically soil which will be going in these two seed trays, uh, air pot seed trays. They prune the roots as you're well aware, probably told you a hundred times what happens with them. But I'm going to fill these up with the Terra um, and I'm going to put my seeds in. What I've done is because I've got I've got a few little types of a uh, few different types of seeds here. Peter Glazebrook giant onion seeds. I'm gonna start a couple of those off. Managed to get some seeds from M Cook. And some other seeds from some other people there. So for to uh, separate them all up, I'll be putting little dividers in. I'm going to be putting a bit of sellotape across. And I've made um, little little signs and cover them in sellotape so they don't get all uh, wet and soaking. And they will go for to distinguish what side is what seed sort of thing. If that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got going on at the moment. I'm going to start that off, get the tent sorted out. I'll show you this uh, light bulb I've got. I've seen light bulb. Yeah. Have a look at this bad boy. I'm quite fortunate having a shop that I, I can uh, get my hands on bits and bobs that people wouldn't generally get their hands on. So I'm quite lucky as far as I was concerned. But have a look at this. Take it out of the box there. This is an LED light bulb, not just any old LED light bulb. It's a hundred watt light bulb. However, it's it will take the place of a good 350 watt CFL bulb. So that will, if you look at the tent over there, that will be hanging in that tent like that. And underneath it will be my onions to bring them on a bit more after they've been potted into these little one litre pots so those onions will be getting potted in these little one litre pots and then when they've outgrown those as you can see these will be going at these two litre pots I made a big mistake last year uh, with my leeks and my onions and I didn't pot them up as much as I should have I, I chucked them in three litre pots after they were in them tiny little pots and I didn't allow them to build their root zone properly uh, so regular potting up you end up with better root zone taking better nutrients uh, more nutrients more more roots more nutrients bigger plants at the end of it so hopefully I'll do it right this year um, and I'm going to grow about well I know I'm going to grow a lot of onions this year I've got a plan um, that I'm going to be doing I've sent some emails to Harrogate uh, vegetable show uh, I haven't received any emails back 
But uh, I want to talk to them regarding doing a stand for the Harrogate uh, Veg Show this year. Well, next year, sorry. Um, for Exhibition Garden, my other business with Mark Shepard. So we're going to try and get that sorted out and see if they'll allow it to do it. Um, we're looking forward to having a go at that. We've got some big ideas. Um, so if you like what you see, join us again in a couple of minutes and I'll show you exactly what I've done. See you in a minute. Hello and welcome back. Um, I've sorted out the onions now. As you can see, I've got my seed trays full. Uh, and I've separated them with tape, like I've said before. So on this side there is one type of onion, on this side there's another. Just so you don't have to have loads of different pots with loads of different types of onion in. And as you can see I've got them labelled up there. And uh, I'll be putting those in the tent. As you can see I've swapped over the bulb there and it's very bright that LED bulb which will be going in there and the tent will be getting zipped up. I've got my other onions in here. My big onions which will be going underneath that big uh, uh, that light there in the bottom there and those will be going in the little one litre pots so if you join us again in a second I'll have it all sorted ready to go see you in a second hello there I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be doing while potting up these little onions I'm going to be using a, a mycorrhizal inoculant called Mycos and it is made by a company called Extreme Gardening um, it's supposed to be the absolute dog's gonads um, so this year I will be every potting up I'll be adding my cost to the root zone so I'll be potting up these little onions into here letting them build up their root zone um, and then I'll be potting them on into a two litre pot so join us again in a minute I've got two four six eight ten I've got a dozen to do I've given some away to an old gentleman who came in who fancied some onions big onions so I've given him half a dozen um, and I've kept 12 back for myself. I don't know how many I'll make it into the actual trench itself. But I thought I'd try some early onions just to see how I can get on with them. Um, and hopefully I might get a whopper. So join us again in a second. Well, I've got them all potted up and put in that tent. And I'll show you the final resting place until they get potted up into the two litre pots. Hello and welcome back. As you can see I've got everything in place now. And I've got those dozen onions in there. I will be making some little supports for to stand them upright. Uh, but for the minute that's still a little I'm going to uh, just keep them as they are there so I'm going to zip because I've got customers coming in um, and it's a bit bright that I will be zipping this tent up so nobody gets blinded um, and I will be watering them all in getting them all sorted um, and I'm happy with what I've got done I'm looking forward to uh, this season or next season should I say the season coming up I can't wait to uh, have a bash at the onions and uh, hopefully I'll have a big surprise for everyone um, with some ideas I've got as far as onions are concerned in the Harrogate show. So yeah, stay posted if you like what you watch um, and you want to see more. Just hit the subscribe button and it'll notify you of when my next video is available for you to have a watch and see what I'm up to. I've got loads of work to do down at the allotment. I've got loads of plans to do down there. I'm changing it all. Uh, I harvested a couple of giant cabbages yesterday for my tea last night. A big red cabbage and a big uh, white cabbage. I'll put a picture on after this uh, video for you to have a look at those, see how big they were. They were quite big. Um, probably feed a, a family of 12, 15 people with some of those, uh, if I'm being honest. Yeah, but thanks for watching. I really appreciate all your comments and all your likes and stuff like that. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I will see you again. On the next one where I'll be showing you more of the stuff we're getting ready for next year. So remember to subscribe and I'll see you again on the next one.